Here's a few things I would like to say on the topic of body image. Is he going to talk about body image? Are you talking about body image? This is possibly one of the most divisive things happening at the moment. And that is people's opinions of themselves, people's opinions on other people, about their body image. And you know what I have to say to that? Keep your opinions to yourself. Can't keep my opinions to myself. It is of no concern to you how I look. There is no need to comment on someone's physique or what they are wearing. If you think they look fat, that is your problem. Not mine, not theirs, your problem. Don't pass that problem on to me. If you don't like what I'm wearing, well, you can just keep that opinion to myself. Because here is what you are doing. You are putting a negative comment down where there does not need to be a negative comment. All that negative comment does is make you feel much better about your existence on this planet. And in turn, it brings down a whole lot of other people. Now, I feel like me saying this will in no way, shape or form change what you do and what you say. And I know to you watching this video that you would never do that. That's just not what you do. People who watch my videos aren't massive c but when it comes to someone's weight loss journey or their physical appearance or what they choose to wear, that is their decision. That is not yours. Granted, you can give them advice. I mean, they probably don't want the advice, but you're more than welcome to talk to them about what they're wearing, what they're eating, what they're doing. You can talk to them. Don't talk at them. Everybody's journey is so unique and it's so different. Everybody's body shape is just, it, it's different. The way I eat food, it's different. I inhale my food, I don't chew it. I once ate sushi while I had the flu and was so sick and I vomited it back up and it, it, I hadn't even chewed it. This was just whole chunks of unchewed sushi. The way my metabolism works is different from the way your metabolism works. And granted, you can give me the advice on how you lost weight or how you think I should eat, but it's so different for everybody. I also see comments from people saying things that are so unnecessary. If someone is wearing an item of clothing and they feel beautiful in it, who are you to tell them that that's not how they look? That is your opinion. And you can take your opinion and you can shove it back up your eyes. I still believe the motto is, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything. If you see someone that's put on a bit of weight, you don't need to tell them that. I'm pretty sure that they know. It actually doesn't improve your friendship or relationship in any way, shape or form. And it doesn't make the person feel good about themselves. My journey throughout the last five or six years uh, has been... I don't want to say difficult. I've had an incredible career in uh, the radio industry and I've loved my job and I immerse myself in things like Trish, in these videos, in the podcast, in my job as a digital producer. And I don't actually get that much time to really do things for myself, which means the things that suffer are my health because I get really overwhelmed quite easily. And the last thing I want to do is cook or clean Although I did clean this before I started recording because it was a cesspool of filth. I've recorded this video about four times, 20 minute, just long 20 minute rants. And I've come to realize that there is no advice I can give because everybody's journey is so different that the advice that I'm saying is contradictory because the advice is don't give advice. <laughs> That's my advice. Don't give it. But then I feel like a lot of people have given me advice. A lot of people have given me advice I don't want to hear. And a lot of people have given me advice that I need. That's also a contradiction. I just feel like everyone's opinion they feel is fact and valid. But you know what? It's not. This opinion right now that I'm giving to you, it's not fact and it's also not valid. It is how I go through my journey and how I want people to share that with me or talk to me about it. I don't want people telling me my personal training sessions aren't doing anything for me. You're not me. You don't know what they're doing for me. Just because I'm not dropping 45 kilos in two weeks doesn't mean they're not working. I can't tell you how much better I feel. I can move again. I can walk up a flight of stairs and not be horrifically out of breath. I just feel so much better and I'm sleeping better. And when people say, oh, are you still doing some training? Yes, I am. 
And I don't understand this fascination with if someone wants to lose weight, they should drop it in three months. They should be completely thin and at their goals in three months. This isn't some sort of fad diet. I just don't think, I just get really, I get really angry because I feel like we've created this. I am so sweaty because it's like, I was just gonna say it's 35 degrees. It's like 20 degrees outside. But because I did all that cleaning, I'm really sort of sweaty and gross. Like I, I, I'm constantly bombarded with messages of like the lemon detox diet or the keto diet or all these diets. And I just, in for me, they don't work. Um, restricting food for me is not beneficial. I've tried it countless times and I put the weight back on. And cutting out certain foods doesn't teach me about what I'm eating. It just teaches me that I'll stop eating carbs because oh, carbs are bad. Carbs aren't bad. And in the grand scheme of things, what I have taught myself and what I have been uh, watching and learning and listening to are all these documentaries, are all these people, vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters, all these different people. And they all have so much advice and the one sort of overarching theme that I get from all of them is to eat foods that the earth has provided. Don't eat processed food. Do I live by that rule? As you can tell, absolutely not. I have nine chins. I love processed food. <laughs> I love cheese. Cheese is life. Life is cheese. Am I gonna give that up? No, I'm not gonna give that up because I will be an angry human being. But I understand that eating cheese is not the healthiest thing I could be doing. And it's coming to that understanding of what I'm putting in my mouth. Dicks can actually do a lot of damage. And then I put things in my mouth. More dicks that actually are beneficial. And I try to balance it out and then I'll get to a level where I'm eating balanced and then I try and eat a little bit more healthy. But this is like years in the making. Like this whole journey to being a healthy Christian is going to take years. It's a slow process because you are changing your lifestyle. And I come up with all the excuses under the sun. I say, oh, I have two full-time jobs. I don't have time to cook. I don't have time to do that. And mentally, I don't have time. People well, like, we'll make time. Well, if I could f***ing make time, I would make time, wouldn't I? Like, instead of preparing meals for the week, I'm making this video about being overweight because I would much rather stand here and talk at you than be in the kitchen chopping up vegetables because that's what I love to do. I like making videos. I do not like standing in the kitchen chopping vegetables when I could be making videos. So I do this, which therefore means I can't be in the kitchen preparing meals, which means I order out, which means I order unhealthily. And there are a million excuses and they're all, they're all pretty much invalid, but I'm making that slow progress. And I feel like uh, going to the gym once a week and while exercise, as people countless times tell me, it's 80, 20, you really need to change your diet. I know that, I'm aware of that. I'm not trying to rapidly lose weight. I'm trying to change my habits and that takes practice and it takes time and it takes motivation. I can't just jump into something, immerse myself in lettuce leaves, drop 25 kilos and then return back to daily life and try and maintain that weight. Everyone has a different journey in how they view themselves and how they want to view themselves, in how they look. And it's just, it's of no one else's opinion as to what they should be. If you disagree with what they're doing, yell into a pillow or something. It's, it's of no concern of yours. If you're genuinely worried about someone's health, approach the situation delicately, very delicately. But when it comes to trivial things like, that dress doesn't look good on you, those pants do not suit you, do you really think you should be having a burger? These little things just add up and are just so destructive for someone. What I love and what I've come to terms with is knowing um, that what I'm eating is bad for me. Knowing that it's bad for me, it's, <laughs> It's helping this whole process because I know what I have to do. I'm not doing it and I'm slowly trying to change it. I know that too much meat isn't good for you. I know too much cheese isn't good for you. Drinking excessively isn't good for you. I know that fat free means it's gotta be high in something else. I understand how to sort of read labels of food even though I don't trust anything. I trust nobody. I trust food that has been grown from the ground and even still, Starting to trust that a little bit less. It's got needles in it. I feel like I'm turning into one of those flat earth conspiracy theorists where I'm just like, all food is bad. 
get to the bunker. I don't know what I want my takeaway message to be, but I just want it to be that your opinion on something is your opinion on something. Your advice can also be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. It's really hard. That's why it's so hard. That's why this whole thing is so subjective and it's all just based on what one person is going through at one time. It's not a group thing. There is nothing, there is no set of rules that, that exist for how to handle someone or what you believe is the perfect body shape and what you believe people should be doing and eating and exercising. It just, there is no one unanimous set of rules. All right, now I need to go finish the rest of cleaning the apartment. It is trash. I would love to show you the kitchen. This is what happens. I'll show you the kitchen. This is what happens when I try and eat healthy. Oh, disregard the unhealthy moments. But look, like it's just a lot of food prep and I can't be bothered cleaning it. It's just cleaning food. It's just so difficult.